Hey, PS great, the last digit of the like for each is someone from the chalk playground, so go down right now, click like, click subscribe, click the bell, look at the screen, pay attention to the last digit of your like and compare these facts. And who are you? Write about it in the comments. It's simple. For example, if you are a marshmallow, then I write marshmallow everything is cool, have a nice viewing and great, great, dear friends, you are on the melancholy channel. In this video, you and I will talk about the secret facts about the jeep from the chalk background. It is important to note that some of the facts are still known by the players and they are pretty well known, but I can't not insert them into the jeep video either. Therefore, you should not write that you are a fool for melancholy, these are facts. I understand that they are known to everyone, but these facts still needed to be said about the jeep, so keep that in mind. But before the start of the video, as always, I want to say a huge thank you to these guys for getting into my video. And if you want to get into my next video, then you just need to subscribe to the channel, put a like, write your top comment. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the cart, the link is as always in the description. In general, I will not drag out your time and enjoy your viewing. So, fact number one, the jeep does not break through with any weapon in the chalk playground. But there is one small but. Please note, I have prepared such an interesting and beautiful platform, where we have three jeeps in a row, three Milans in front of these jeeps and a huge amount of weapons. And we will check each of them now. And I want to tell you in confidence, one of the weapons will still pierce the jeep. Write in the comments what kind of weapon do you think will break through the jeep and still harm our Milo. Because I know and have already checked that one weapon still checks, but I still want to see how much you know the world of Mayan Playground. And so we'll see, we have a huge number of weapons and we will start from the very top, that is, let's say, from the very beginning. And we'll start with what? We'll start with the gun. And pay attention, the gun does not penetrate us. Then we don't break through like that. Then we have a revolver, which also, unfortunately or fortunately, does not penetrate, although it feels as if even the picture was shaking. Then we have an MFI, which also does not break through. The shotgun does not penetrate a huge amount either, the crossbow does not penetrate, the sniper does not check either, although I thought it would. Further MP9 does not break through. Of course our by giant is too. You thought it didn't punch, but it really doesn't. About the Vagan, which is the most powerful, in my opinion, which I created, also does not break through. Next, we have another crossbow, also does not break through. The flamethrower does not penetrate, of course. The captor also naturally does not punch, more precisely. The mortar doesn't break through any more nonsense. And pay attention to the protagon. He doesn't punch either, you thought he would, but no. But railgun, wow. The railgun pierced through our jeep and easily damaged our car. So it turns out that the only weapon that breaks into the chalk background of a jeep is a railgun, so keep in mind. And fact number two. Jeep from Chalk Background is a copy of a Jeep from real life and it is a model of a car called Jeep Wrangler. Pay attention, if you look closely like this, as if they are very similar, so much so, especially from the side, that it gives the full impression that this is a copy. And I think this is true, because after all, a Jeep, a Jeep, that is, draw an analogy, this is most likely a Wrangler. So this is just an interesting fact that few people have probably thought about. Well, the third fact, most likely known to everyone, but maybe someone doesn't know, write in the comments if you didn't know. The jeep stops working underwater. Many people have already said this, including me in one of my videos, I don't remember which one. In general, if you put the jeep underwater, then after a while it will stop starting in principle. So this is just an interesting fact. And fact number four, the jeep cannot be blown up by any of the bombs at all. No matter how hard you try, no matter what I do, no matter how many grenades I have, that is, even look, if I put all the grenades, all, all four, everything that is in the background under the jeep, then absolutely nothing will happen to him, even if all at once. That is, he is real, he is simple. That's it, he'll just go on. In general, this is such an interesting movement. And even if you put an atomic bomb or Monroe bombs on top, then nothing will happen to him either. But the following fact follows from this. Fact number 5. The jeep will not break even from the explosions of 100 C4 bombs. Pay attention to how it works. Look, I've already prepared the whole site. And if we blow up even the word bombs SI4, take my word for it, there are exactly 100 bombs, then our jeep is absolutely not damaged in any way. Well, of course it gets damaged, but in fact nothing will happen to it. But if you put 13 atomic bombs, then the jeep can be disabled and only by a simultaneous explosion. Let's see how it works. 
We take a jeep, surround it with thirteen bombs. That's the way it is. He even sagged a little under the weight of the bombs. And if you activate these bombs, then our jeep will explode. And let's look at this beautiful magnificent explosion. Yes, the explosion is really powerful and the jeep just falls apart and, accordingly, it will not go without wheels in any way and even it will not start. Here's an interesting fact that few people knew about, because few people thought of doing it. Well, the next fact. The jeep is not affected by any natural phenomena at all. It cannot be set on fire, frozen, broken by wind or explosion. This is such an interesting fact. I do not know, maybe the developers just did not think of and did not think through all these actions. Perhaps in future updates all this will be fixed, but so far, to be honest, it's even a little strange. Because it's impossible to do anything with our jeep at all. Well, by the way, a cool interesting fact is another such mini extra. If you freeze, then we freeze the wheels and an additional wheel for what is frozen. So you can try to do it, but it does not affect his actions at all. Well, the next fact, which is actually controversial, because I may not have thought it through somehow. I was thinking how to measure the power of a jeep. I was wondering how to do it and only one really cool, more or less working way came to my mind. We can measure the power of a jeep using melons. So how will it work? We will supply a certain number of melons and how many melons will be damaged by the impact of the jeep, then that's how much power our jeep has. Approximately, I calculated that we have 7 to 8 melons, about the average power of our jeep. Naturally, if you go straight into the details, you can calculate it perfectly, but I won't do that, because the conditions are different. Well, it is impossible to prepare ideal conditions for this experiment. And notice how it works. We put a jeep and it goes slowly, because with a small speed, with a high speed, everything will probably lag and this will no longer be an objective experiment. Well, as it is, everything works smoothly with a small speed and our Milo brakes. And let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, about 6, 7, 8 melons, we have such an average power of our jeep, which is pretty good, guys. This is not a small power. The rear melons that we have crushed near the wall, we will not count them, because they were crushed with the help of other melons, that is, it's a little unfair and we just don't have enough length of the entire map to check this fact completely. So these are the interesting facts we had about the new jeep today. Write in the comments if you liked them. Well, this is where my video is coming to an end. Thank you all for watching, good luck to everyone, bye to everyone. And I remember, my friend, as always, I'll see you one of these days.